Hello everyone, my name is Sam and you're watching my YouTube channel, Queen Malika. And in this video, we will going to talk about the 10 pharmacy schools we have in Canada. This is part 2 of the series. You should watch part 1. If you haven't, the link is in the description. Just go through video number 1 so that you know what we are talking about. And this video will be the continuation of part 1. So, stay tuned. Watch this video till the end. And if you like what we discussed in the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and a subscribe to my channel so that I continue making such informative videos for you guys. School number six, University of British Columbia. University of British Columbia has masters as well as a PhD program as well as some other programs which we will not gonna cover in this video but if you guys want I can make another video on University of British Columbia only and their program so if you want make sure to give it like and a, a comment if you need that video. Getting an admission into UBC is quite different from the other universities which we have discussed previously. In this video, just like University of Alberta, you do not need to secure a professor. How the application works is you apply to the university, the professors will gonna review your profile and if they agree and if they like your profile, they will gonna contact you and that's when you make an agreement for the admissions and that's how you get an admission into University of uh, British Columbia for a master's or a PhD program. For this university, you do not need a GRE. However, if you are an international student, it is highly recommended that you apply for GRE and have a decent score so that your application gets a preference. If you are a Canadian applicant, your application fee is $108. And if you are an international applicant, your application fee is $168. Now, the deadline for admissions is June 15 for the fall admissions so make sure if you haven't applied yet quickly go apply all the best for your admissions this school is highly affordable the tuition fee is around fifty two hundred dollars a year and you get a hefty scholarship of around twenty seven thousand dollars per year so if you're looking for a high amount of scholarship this school is for you and this school is highly competitive so you need a very strong profile to even be considered for admission so if you want to know some tips and tricks of how i did the application process for university of british columbia and whether or not if i got admitted into the university of british columbia so make sure to watch the upcoming videos and i will be sharing you my story uh regards to ubc school of pharmacy the university have given you a PDF copy of how to make a good graduate application and the link of that uh, PDF is given in the description. So make sure to check out the description and all the links which I have provided so that it will be easier for you guys to know what you need to do and what you do not need to do. So school number seven, University of Manitoba. So this school provides a master's as well as a PhD program for their graduate school at the School of Pharmacy, University of Manitoba. For this school, you need to secure a professor and make an agreement that the supervisor is willing to undertake you for a master's or a PhD study and then do the applications. So the application fee is $100 for both Canadian as well as international students. And for this school, you need at least three letter of recommendations from your professors. For, uh, for the graduate school, the deadline are March March 1st for international students and if you are a Canadian student your deadline will be June 1st. This school provides a good amount of scholarship for so for masters they provide $14,000 and for a PhD program they provide $18,000 per year. The tuition fee for this school depends whether you are a Canadian or a permanent resident. The fee for Canadian student is around $2,100 per term and if you are an international student the tuition fees will be $6,000 per term. School number 8 University of South Sketch one pool of pharmacy and nutrition. Now, at the University of Saskatchewan, we have master's as well as PhD programs in the field of pharmacy as well as nutrition. In order for you to get admission into this school, you need to secure a professor just like other schools. And this school provides you with a good amount of funding as well. So for a master's program, they are currently providing $15,000 and for PhD, they're providing $18,000 per year on scholarship. So the University of Saskatchewan has the least amount of tuition fee as compared to other pharmacy schools we 
we have in Canada. So if you are an international student, you are only paying around $8,000 per year. And if you are a Canadian student, you are paying around $4,000 per year on tuition. So that's cheaper than most schools. So if you're looking for an affordable school, make sure to check out University of Saskatchewan. Just like other schools, in University of Saskatchewan, if you need an admission, you need to secure a professor. School number nine, University of Toronto. Now, if you know anything about University of Toronto, this school comes in top 20 universities in the world. So you know the reputation of this school is among best pharmacy schools in Canada and getting into this school is usually the dream of every single Canadian student or most international students as well. So if you are targeting this school, I assume your profile is so strong and if you get admission into this school, hands down you are one of the top students in the world. In order for for you to get admissions into the School of Pharmacy at the University of Toronto, you need to secure a professor just like other schools and this school provides masters as well as PhD programs. On top of it, they also have other continuation uh, programs for licensed pharmacists as well like residency programs, PharmD for pharmacists as well as they have MSc in Pharmacy and Advanced Professional Practice as well as PharmD programs for current licensed pharmacists. Now, in order for you to get into the theory based program, you need to have a GRE score if you are an international student, as well as you need to either clear the EE exam, which is the evaluating exam of the PEBC exam, or you need to get a license in the Ontario or any other province in Canada for you to be eligible for this theory based program. So for this theory based program, there are no scholarships for a research based master's and a PhD program, you need to secure a professor just like I said before. And this school provides the most amount of scholarship than all the other Canadian universities we have in Canada. For Canadian students, the scholarship ranges between $33,000 $38,000. And for international students, the scholarship ranges between $36,000 to up to $50,000 as well. So if you're looking to apply to this school, the deadlines are approaching really fast. So for all the students, the deadlines is January 24th for the fall 2022 admission. So if you haven't applied to the school, make sure to go and complete the application. Now, the last school we have in this series is University of Waterloo. Now this school is the school where I graduated from. So this school is very close to my heart. I know all the professors in that school and I cannot tell you how much love, appreciation and respect I have received from the school as well as from the faculties and the students alike. So, University of Waterloo comes in top 200 universities in the world. Now this school provides a master's as well as a PhD program and recently they have also started an M Farm program as well in advanced pharmacy practice. Now for you to get admissions into the school, you need three letter of recommendations as well as a statement of purpose and the general application. If you're coming from India, the, the minimum percentage you need is around 77% and this school provides a hefty amount of scholarship. I know I received it for two and a half years. So the scholarship of this school is enough for you to do your research and not worry about the work while uh, studying. This school provides a guaranteed funding for all the students. For international students, it's around $25,000, which is a good amount. And the tuition fee for Canadian students is around $2,200. And for international students, it's around $7,400 per term. Thank you very much for watching this video. Now, this video concludes the part two of the video and thus we have covered all the pharmacy schools we have in Canada. If you have any questions, make sure to write that question in the comment section so that I can read and respond to your questions as soon as possible. And if you haven't watched uh, part one of the series, make sure to watch that part one of the series as well so that you will get all the uh, comprehensive information you need about the pharmacy schools we have in Canada and how to get admission in the master's or PhD program at the, at the different pharmacy schools we have uh, in and around Canada. So thank you very much and I hope you like this video. If you do make sure 
to share some love and subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications on whenever I post the video next. If you have any other questions regarding any general information you need, make sure to you know what to do. Just write a comment and I'll respond. So thank you very much and um, I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.